A few weeks ago, I made a video extolling the virtues of Helldivers 2's decision to ban both sides of the political divide. People who are asking for LGBTQ capes, and the people who are arguing against them a bit too vehemently, and in essence therefore instituting a no-politics zone. This is what I think to be the best solution for a game like Helldivers 2, which is of course not the correct venue for this sort of political discourse. It is a third-person extraction shooter, not really where this conversation should be had, and thus simply banning both sides was the correct choice. But unfortunately, that choice may have turned out to be not as absolute as we were hoping, as this here, Catherine Baskin, is the community manager for Arrowhead, the developers of Helldiver. She says in response to, didn't they ban people from their Discord for suggesting they add LGBT coloured capes? No, she says, we only ban the bigots, transphobes, homophobes, racists, etc. are not welcome in our community. We had to restrict the topics in the Hell Driver 2 general chats for a while because it was triggering massive waves of hate speech which our staff was struggling with emotionally. So this is a very different story from what we actually saw and were told, namely that they were simply saying that we are not a venue for this sort of politics. This in fact seems to directly contradict that, as they were only banning, and this is a very left-wing woman from the fact that we can see here, this is her profile. LGBT flag, of course, free Palestine and trans rights. So when she says racist, homophobes, bigots, etc., what she means is everything and everyone who disagrees with her. This was then picked up on by Grumps, amongst other people. Not Helldivers. My take, she's banning the right people in their Discord. Helldivers bans out of the game political, political issues. If that policy is being applied fairly, and the community manager is doing her job, I'm fine with the flags in the bio. And you know what? That is a perfectly fine position, because you can have aforementioned flags in the bio and still be a decent person. It's rare in this day and age, but it is conceivably possible. The question is though, are they banning the right people? Because this might be her, speaking a bit out of her ass, entirely possible. It could be, well, a lie, straight up. But that is perhaps an overly charitable interpretation, isn't it? You here have the community manager saying that they are banning the bigots, the transphobes, the homophobes, the racists, etc. Which would be fine if she actually meant the definition of those words when she said it, but she does not. I can damn near guarantee it. There was also then a list of messages that came out here. These are all from the Twitter account, so they are all public. I also don't like the term casual and hardcore because they come with the implication that skill equals passion. Yes, because skill does come from passion because passion means that you put time into a thing and time into a thing equals passion. Those words are something gamers cling to, but they are being rendered meaningless as games become more accessible, inclusive and experimental. I'm not talking much because it's not my turn to talk, it's time for black people to be heard and for white people to listen. I am so tired of games focusing on parent-child narratives, period. Let, male, let alone male centric ones. There are other relationships worth exploring in games. You know what I like? Games with female stories. I like women. I'd like to see more women doing things in games that aren't motivated entirely by men. Plus, Helldivers is pretty woke, dog. Game was made by a lot of LGBTQ people and brown people and black people and women, and it's a big satire of jingoism. It amuses me that they don't know that Super Earth is bad. Again, this woman, by all appearances, messages and flags in bio, is far left, and thus, once more, when she says this, we know what it means, and it, we know that that means the policy is not, if this woman is telling the truth, being applied evenly. There's the issue. And now, Grumps didn't know about this at the time. This came out a little bit later, in fact. And she also decided to block him. Now, fair enough, this isn't the most ridiculous thing, of course, because Grumps has a very large account. And I am sure that a lot of people that feel very strongly about wokeism in their games probably headed this woman's way, to be fair. 
she also elected to remove the Palestine flag and the trans flag from her bio as well, only keeping the LGBT flag. She also did this on her Helldiver account as a community manager, I have heard, which is a laudable stance. Okay, maybe my view here is actually not correct. Maybe I should not try to politicize this. Maybe I just, you know, shot my mouth off a little bit on the internet. Possibly. And she has also protected her account, which again, isn't the biggest flag ever because she probably did get some hate from this because, well, it's kind of deserved. That's the problem. See, here's the thing. In a normal universe, we might be able to look at this and say, okay, you are banning biggest transphobes, home home racists, etc. Fair enough. If you've got actual racists on your Discord, well, that is definitely against Discord's terms of service. It's probably against the terms of service of your forum provider, if it's the official forums, etc, etc. But that is not the meaning of the words. And the assumption is that if the policy is being applied fairly, then everyone is for it. And Grumps himself too says that the flags in the bios don't matter, which they don't. But this is also the very self-same group of people that have told us that everything is political and that nothing can exist outside of the political spectrum, which is also kind of reflected in the idea of Helldivers is pretty woke. She is already projecting her political ideology onto the game, and Helldivers... I, I would really struggle to describe Helldivers as woke. I mean... In this case, why is it woke? It's because the people who worked on it is woke. So in her own words, the political identity, not even the political identity, but the literal identities of races and sexualities of the people working on the game is already enough to politicize it in her eyes. This is the problem right here. These are the people who have told us everything is political, okay? If everything is political, and we see an agent of the opposing political ideology stating to us that they are banning what they define as the opposition to their political ideology, then it becomes very, very difficult to assume that the rules are being applied fairly. And people are now undoubtedly going to start looking into Helldivers and their forums and their discords, en masse, no doubt, to see whether or not these policies have actually been applied fairly. What is the ban records of these people? And frankly, the Helldivers devs should probably come out ahead of this and make some sort of announcement, releasing their ban lists and the reasons for those bans. If they appear justifiable, then good, fantastic. Perhaps this is nothing. This might be a simple, massive old nothing burger, and she let her mouth get the better of her. In which case, you know what? Fair. That's, that's fine. We all say stupid shit on the internet every now and then, and seeing as she has already removed the flags from her bio, which I consider to be a little bit of a good will sign, but at the same time, I feel my blue-eyed naivete enforce itself upon my point of view yet again, as every single solitary time I have given this bunch the benefit of the doubt, it has bitten me in the arse, and so I am a pinch hesitant to do so even now, but once more, in an ideal world, this should be seen as a sign of contrition, going, okay, okay, these are very, very politically laden things, they are controversial things, they pres present a very specific worldview, I'm going to just back off on that because I am the community manager of a game, I am not a political activist, and I'm simply just going to continue to do my job. That would be the ideal resolution to all of this. I suppose we are going to have to wait and see, aren't we? But I really, really do hope that they stick to their guns on not making it political. I even said that in this very video, in fact, that we're going to have to wait and see whether or not the developers are actually able to, you know, make good on their promises to ban both sides without getting affected by external influencers and, quite likely, internal influencers as well. Again, the whole statement, it's pretty woke, etc. Uh, 
I don't know if I believe her necessarily, because there isn't any sign of it in game, but she, if she is claiming that these other people as well were in on her ideology, perhaps it is time that people take a little bit of a closer look. Though, again, I dearly hope they don't find anything. Until next time, I have been Arch. Thank you all very much for listening, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.